Good morning, neighbors. This is Steph with the Resort TV One Homes. We're brokered by eXp Realty. And today we are in the neighborhood of Lakeland or the city of Lakeland. We are in on the south side and I wanna show you one of my favorite places to shop. So here we go. Okay, friends, I am on the south side of Hardin Boulevard. This is at the end of exit 31 if you're coming off of I-4 and today I'm gonna feature the Lakeside Village shopping community and I'm gonna take you in the front entrance I'm sorry about the bouncing this uh, we're calling it the Kraken uh, for my little tripod here it doesn't quite have a stabilizer on it but um, I want you to be able to see some of the restaurants here there's a Chili's and a Mr. and Mrs. Krabs. Back there was an Olive Garden. Here we've got a Glory Days. So there's lots of dining here. Um, this, if you're coming down here for some sports things or tournaments or graduations, um, this is not terribly far from the Lakeland Center, uh, which is in the mid middle of town. And I'm hoping to feature that uh, a little bit later. So here I turned on to where uh, this frontage road connects with the Polk Parkway. And I'm taking the frontage road, but you can see the toll path there on the parkway. And here we're gonna pull in to the front of, or what I call the front, of Lakeside Village. I just, I love this bridge and sometimes in the water they have these beautiful fountains like you can see over here to the right. And we're just gonna drive around because it's almost August and it's like the surface of the sun out here and no amount of Starbucks can help me uh, survive the heat. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what is here because it's a beautiful little shopping area and I haven't um, toured this in a long time. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what we have too. So over here on the right we have an Abuela's that I hear has fantastic Mexican food and some food to go. We have a Bed Bath & Beyond. There I see Verizon and I think Kelly Services is in the top. There is a stop sign here. If you're following along on the map, this is um, Town Center Drive South. And Bed Bath & Beyond takes up the whole left side here. So on the right, we have Ideal Image and a luxury nail paint, uh, nail bar called Paint and Famous Footwear. And then I'm gonna go around the bout to the right and go all the way, uh, I'll go all the way uh, north, I guess. So here we have the Mongolian Grill, and then um, over here we have Dewberry. Uh, that must be up top. Lane Bryant left, but we still have Fish City Grill and Rocket Fizz, which is a lovely old soda shop. They have some really fun, uh, unique candies in there. And we've got an Orange Theory Fitness and Fleet Feet and Golf, etc. I'll go around the back here as well. Uh, here we have the Brass Tap, which sometimes has local jazz and live music and some fun things. And in front of us, you can see Burger 21. Um, this is the back side of Grill Smith. Um, but I wanna take you over here, and I don't think I can get in, but I wanna just show it a little bit on here because about, we'll call it eight years ago. So this is 2023, so you do the math, 2015 maybe. Um, they built these apartments over here, but I wanna show them to you because uh, they are quite lovely. They have, uh, I think, studios, one bedroom and two bedrooms. Uh, yeah, they're calling it Town Center. Um, So I'll just go around this roundabout. Sorry about the bumps. Okay. We'll just drive in through here and see what these apartments look like. So obviously it says no soliciting, so I'm not gonna get out, but I wanted to kind of drive through here and see what the options are. Okay, so now this is a gated area for the residents. So I'm just gonna make a U-turn and you can just get a nice wide view here. Okay. 
I always liked the idea of these apartments because they are so close within walking distance to this shopping village and um, you have a hotel here ready-made for visitors. Uh, I always liked that idea. <laughs> so we're gonna go back the way we came uh, towards Burger 21. If you come here, so this is like a Monday morning, so if you come here on the nights and weekends, um, it can get pretty crowded, especially with our movie theater over here, but um, it still has a lot of a lot of fun life, and they do some events here for the holidays and different things, so it's always great to check out the website. I'll make sure to post that in the, the description. So here we have another nail uh, salon, a hair cuttery, and a cold stone and um, IMAX here. And then I'll just finish this little side here. Um, so we have a Planet Smoothie along with um, Pizza Valdiano's and Gaskin's Barbecue and Lobster. On the back side of Bed Bath & Beyond over here is a Books A Million and they do have a yogurt mountain so if you ever wanted to read books and eat some yogurt this is a great stop and then i'm going to go back around to the front and we're going to go a different path now i am sorry about the glare i am i am going to find a way to put a mat over this uh i just haven't had a chance to do that yet So I think here's what I'll do. I'll go around the back side of this also, and then we'll drive through the other center. So here we, we're back at Abuela's on the right and Verizon and Kelly Services on the left. And I'm going through um, this town center drive here. And over here on the left, we have one of our anchor stores. Um, free store pickup. This is Belk. It is very similar to a, if you're from the north and you may not have these, it's very similar to a Kohl's or JCPenney's. They do have clothing and home items and that kind of thing. Um, okay, so there over here to the right are the restaurants that I mentioned. There are some other hotels here and then I'm going to turn left and go around to the front of Belk here. And this comes up on uh, the other end of the boulevard here. So we've got a Persona on uh, the south side and Chico's on the north side. And I'll just go as slow as I can here. Um, so on the right here, we've got a Carter's Loft, uh, Francesca's, and then over here on the left, we've got a rather large standalone Victoria's Secret uh, and another entrance for Belk. And then we've got a Bath and Body over here on the right, a Soma, uh, Intimate Apparel. Um, and then we've got uh, Kirkland's again on the right and then Yates and Hagen and Anna's. And then here is another crosswalk here. Um, Daydream Salon and Day Spa. And a, what was that, Josse Banks or however you say that. Um, progressive Insurance is up there on the top. And then here we are back at the uh, Mongolian Grill. And then we have one corner, uh, I guess it's looking to be rented. And then we're back at the Rocket Fizz and the Fish City Grill, and I'm going to go what would be straight. Oh, uh, we'll call it West. And we're back at the Books Million on the front side here. And we've got a Wolfgang Bakery um, over here on the left. And we've got some Thai sushi and you break i fix gamestop stretch lab max jewelers and by the wolfgang we have a saigon fine what's that uh, can't read it. fine dining and a another bistro 
And then we have Grill Smith here on the right. And ahead, we're back at the IMAX Theater. Sorry about the bumps. That's what we call drainage for Florida. We have to, uh, we have to plan for the water runoff, don't we? The yellow building is the home to suites. And this blue building here on the right is the Hampton Inn and Suites. Both of these, I think, are part of the Hilton community. Yes, by Hilton, yes. So we're gonna go back and check this out again to make sure you get a really good view. So here we are over here at Gulf Etc. and Fleet Feet. Fleet Feet used to be part of Fit Niche. Uh, they do special shoe fittings um, and they really try and make the, um, really try and pick the shoe that's gonna be best level your foot and make sure that it really, uh, when your foot lands, that it lands evenly the way it's supposed to and they really take good care of their customers in there. So here we are back going around the whole way, I guess, around the 360 here. And we're back at the Mongolian Grill and I'm going down Town Center Drive East if you're looking at a map. Always be careful, you've got little ones in the road. Uh, if you have your hands full with lots of little ones, they don't always have a hand to hold. So just be careful when you're driving. Uh, here we are back at Kirkland's here. And you can see the back side of what you, uh, what I'm assuming is still cold over there. And here we've got Anna's. And, oh, so Victoria's Secret actually has two bays. They have the pink side, and then they have um, the regular Victoria's Secret side. So here we are back at Chico's and Persona, and I'm gonna turn uh, left just so we can make sure we see everything. And here is a Here USA. That's a hearing, hearing, store or a store for hearing aids and hearing impairments and then here we have Kohl's with a feature of Sephora this is a nice big anchor store as well and there's a couple things I want to show you around uh, the rest of the boulevard so I'm gonna turn right here um, there is the road in front of us that you can see the cars going on uh, and that does go around the back but I want to show you these uh, these buildings over here Okay, so here it has a note at this stop sign that cross traffic doesn't stop. There are a couple of these uh, that are a little peculiar, and so I wanted to also feature those. I'm going to turn left. This is the main boulevard uh, that I was on there, but cross traffic either way doesn't stop. So you have to be really careful because this is at sort of a 45 degree angle, and it's just sort of wonky and uh, trying to see everything with the trees. And this is one of the main entrances to come in. So here's an AT&T store on the right. And then we've got Spectrum over here on the left and a Family Dental and Pearl Vision. And then across the way here, we have some really fun things. And you'll figure out really quickly why this is one of my favorites. Now this main entrance here, um, <clears throat> is very busy and you have to be very careful because the cross traffic coming in doesn't stop but the other three ways do so i'm going to turn right here and i'm going to go up here to olive garden uh, and then i'm going to turn around again 
So if you're following me on the map, I am currently on the main circle on the outside edge, closest to the Harden Boulevard. And I just want to do a little turn around. So, okay. So here's a beautiful olive garden. And then right next to that, you have Starbucks with a drive-thru. It's very important. They didn't used to have a drive-thru here and it was always packed and you couldn't even get like a parking spot to get in and they didn't have any seating. And so they've really done a nice job uh, planning the traffic flow on this new one and it's, it's really lovely. And then we've got a, an international diamond center here for jewelers. And then over here, we've got a couple more restaurants. We've got uh, Louis Papa's and Moe's Southwest Grill up front here. This is the back side of them, but this is where you park and go in. Um, and so then, oh, on the end of this here where I thought it was empty, it just doesn't have a sign on the other side. So across from Pearl Vision and Spectrum is actually a mattress firm and it says open. It just doesn't have a sign on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna go out and go north like we're going to the interstate and some other day I'll do a feature on the Polk Parkway. So across from here, you probably can't see it, but we've got an eye specialist of mid Florida. We've got a GTE financial and some other things. And on the further down closer to the parkway, we do have a target and uh, all that part is under construction. So uh, when they get that finished, I will be happy to show you around there. And it looks like there's an Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Lakeland over here on the right as well. And on the left, there is a country club and golf course. Um, as you can see, the grass is just beautiful and you can see the greens out there. And um, on the right, we're passing the Oak Bridge neighborhood uh, over here. And they've got some apartments and some different things. And then this stop, uh, okay, over here on the right, there's another Lakeland Regional Health Grasslands Campus. This is the Grasslands area. Uh, this, if you go left here at this light, you go into the Grasslands Golf Course and Country Club. And if you go right, it takes you through town on Edgewood Drive. And we've got some Mass Verde, um, looks like modular homes over here. shopping center. It's got some new teeth, Crosby Dentistry, and Fred's Market, which is um, a, it's a restaurant, and they have like brunch and all sorts of fun, fun things in there. Very popular restaurant. We are crossing Beacon Road right now, and uh, here is Carlton Music Center, so if you're Students are in band. They will probably meet our the reps at Carlton Music Center. Very reputable. All about blinds, Lakeland Physicians and Associates, um, touch of class cleaners, um, Topaz Retreat. And on the left, we have some more um, some more businesses and Wells Fargo. And then this road here is um, Ariana Street. And 
and then this road that goes left is Central Avenue. And this next uh, light here will take us, uh, this is Lake Hunter, and it goes to the right. And we're coming up on Lake Hunter, I think. You might be able to see it, I hope. This is um, at the end of summer. Yeah, it's it's through the trees there, and so uh, during the winter you can really see the lake. Uh, but during the summer, here's some here's some of the lake. Just see how beautiful it is. I'm sorry about the glare. I can't really drive and see what I'm filming, so I'm just kind of aiming. <laughs> We do have some housing over here on the left. Um, it doesn't, I don't know that it's a neighborhood. Uh -huh. Okay, so this says RP Funding Center, which is the current name for the Lakeland Center. So I'm gonna follow the sign. Uh, this is Hartzell Avenue. And we'll see where this takes us. So at this point, I got on this, the road that I'm sitting on was called Harden. At some point we've crossed over and it is now called Sykes Boulevard and I'm turning left onto Hartzell Avenue and you can just see our beautiful oak trees here with all the beautiful moss. We've got a school over here on the right. Twin Lakes Estates I assume is apartments. This is the Veterans Memorial um, area. And there's a lake over here to my left. Okay, this is where it lies with Lemon Street. Um, okay, so for whatever reason, Google thought that was the main road. That's not the main road. So if you're coming for an event, um, they will have parking instructions and all sorts of things uh, connected with the website and so on. Um, part of this is a big theater. They've got rent, like a big stage theater. They've got some rental space. They've got conference rooms. They've got some of everything here. This is the back side of the RP Funding Center. Um, and right here next to it, we have a Hyatt Place Hotel. And I'm going to, well, I was going to turn right there, but that's one way. Okay. Now as we're driving, gets a little tricky. So here we are crossing over Sykes to get to what I actually wanted to show you. And this is also one way. So now I have to go up here to Missouri Road, Missouri Street, sorry. This is New York Avenue. I am currently sitting on Lemon Street. And this is, we'll call it the northeast part of downtown. Nope, west, northwest part. Okay, so this light is out, so everyone has to stop. And I'm going to turn right, and we're gonna try this again. All the lights are out down here. How curious. Okay. Do I want this one or the next one? I'm gonna try Orange Street. Yes. Okay. So now I'm on Orange Street. Uh, now we are at Orange and New York but the cross traffic doesn't stop, so I'm going to cross carefully. This takes you to 563, which is now what they're calling Harden and Sykes, go figure. 
We are back at the Hyatt Place. So this is the Hyatt Place Hotel here. And um, here we are at the front of the RP Funding Center. So this is entrance four. They've got some huge speed humps here. So, uh, three and four, I'm sorry. Make sure you check out the um, RP Funding Center's uh, website. They always have some fun events going on here. Um, they usually have some like um, mommy and me sales and all like garage sales and um, crafting things and like all sorts of fun stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is Lime Street. And this is the street I actually want. So this takes you to gate three in the box office, um, administration, and the Lakeland Magic is our basketball team. And here's the arena, the convention center, and the theater. And here you can get to the other extended parking. This is where I was going before. We've got a beautiful sculpture sitting out here. Here's where we come back around to the Veterans uh, Memorial over here and the brick road that we were on with Lake Beulah Drive. Which this lake, it's really pretty. It really is. And I see little baby ducks out there. I'm sure there's a gator or two or ten. <laughs> Okay, so now you get another beautiful view of our Veterans Memorial. I'm getting back on Lemon Street and I'm going to take this to back to Sykes Boulevard. Ohio Avenue as we do. Okay. This is Dakota Avenue. I'm going over the bridge again. Uh, I was going to take New York Street left, but <laughs> I can see now that it's blocked off by a train. So um, I'm going to take Missouri Street and go right and go out to Lime Street. Because I think the train has a bridge over Sykes Avenue. But I, I just have to get there without taking a ramp. So here we are back at Missouri and Orange. And here we are by the large Bank of America at Lime and Missouri. I'm going to turn right. You see the white building across the street. That is the newspaper office for the Lakeland Ledger. And you can see from here uh, just how beautiful the RP Funding Center really is. It really stands, stands against the sky very nicely. Okay, here we are back at Sykes. And I'm going to turn right and we are going to be headed north. Now, here are the bridges we were just on. Here's Lemon Avenue, and no, that was Orange Avenue. This is Lemon Avenue. And this is the train bridge, I think. Maybe not. Either way, 
here we are by Lake Wire Drive. You can see the beautiful lake and beautiful buildings across the street. We are at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. If you take this east, it goes into part of the heart of downtown. We have a lot of construction here for what seems to look like apartments and maybe some commercial buildings on the left. This is George Jenkins Drive. If you take this left, it goes to the beautiful park that I showed on my last vlog in Lincoln. And if you take it right, it takes you to North 98. On the left here, you can see the beautiful Children's Museum and the flag at the top of the hill. So that kind of gives you an, an idea of how close these things are to the RP Funding Center, the Lakeland Center, and um, just how, uh, and you can see the train tracks too <laughs> as we go north. Um, the train I saw was going east-west, so this isn't it, but uh, you can just see some of the fun things we have here. Um, and how close they are. There are a lot of events all over the state that come here to use the Lakeland Center. Um, I know like basketball, uh, finals is here, and all sorts of fun things, cheerleading finals, um, lots, of, all, lots of graduations, all sorts of things happen here. And uh, so it's always nice to know what's happening because even if you don't necessarily live in Lakeland, you might find yourself here for events and things. So I, I am headed back to I-4 today, um, and you can kind of see just what's on our drive here. I thought I'd give you a quick tour of this side of town. This is, um, let me see, uh, yes, this is now what was Hardin and Sykes is now called Kathleen Drive, and this is the Kathleen part of town. This is just the main, uh, nor a main north-south road. Um, this is the one on the west side of town. So I know this was a short one today. I really appreciate you um, joining me for this little drive and uh, helping me explore a little bit more of the Lakeland area and uh, I guess the neighborhood of Lakeland. If you are looking to make Central Florida your home, please go to resorttv1homes.com and fill out our contact information. We can connect you with a realtor uh, or real estate agent to help you find your next adventure here in Central Florida. If you are interested in more in moving to Florida but you're not quite sure about the neighborhoods, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more drive arounds like this and a lot more fun things to show you what we have available here and maybe be able to answer some of your questions while you're still doing your research. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to pull onto I-4 and drive safely and <laughs> it's a little crazy so I don't want to be videoing while I'm doing that because uh, I don't have any help with me today. But here we go. So thank you so much for joining me today. Won't you be my neighbor? Bye-bye.